okay, in this tutorial, I'll take you through the steps of how I might go about designing, say, a circular high-rise building or something like that. So basically what I do is I kind of modularize things just like I would when I'm programming. And maybe I build the module of each apartment first, and then I just duplicate that in th throughout the scene. So I'll kind of give you an idea, and then you can just design on your own. So I'll go into here and just maybe subdivide this a couple times. All right. And one of the problems I'll have, I'll show you, is in edit mode, be able to face select. This is an intermediate tutorial because I'm not going to show all small steps along the way. So I'm just going to separate this out like this. And then once I've done that, I'll, maybe I'll leave edit mode, grab that, and just move that off to another layer. Right. And then basically that gives me the inside of the building to look at like this. So let me just add a point light to the scene, shift A, show you one of the problems you run into is if I add a light, well you see the light is illuminating the outside of the building, but if I'm building an apartment scene, I want to illuminate the inside. So I'm going to put the light on the inside, but you see it doesn't affect the inside. And that's because the normals of this cube or facing outward to calculate the lights appropriately. And I can verify that if I go back into edit mode, I'll select uh, what I'll get my properties window with N, come down here, and here's this little box for normals. When you press it, you can see the normals like this. You can change the size right here too if you want. So they're pointing outwards, so that's how it knows to do the light calculations. So normally if I'm building a scene, then I'm going to come in and build my framing in the drywall on the insides, so then the normals are facing appropriately for any inside walls. So for just a quick fix for the moment, just so you see what I'm doing, I'll just press Shift D and make a copy of it and scale it down just a little bit. All right, so I have a second copy on the inside. And then I'll go into edit mode and select everything come here to the mesh and flip the normals around. All right, so now the light can affect the inside of the building. So let me I'll turn it down just a little bit. I grab that light, I just turn it down a little bit and maybe warm it up a little bit. All right. So and then that inside is, you know, maybe well, okay, that kind of gives you an idea. So that's how I might start you know, building it, maybe I'd build my furniture in advance, or maybe uh, maybe here on this, let's see, this is this one here, maybe I'd come out here and build this as uh, a door, maybe this is a door out to a patio. So I'd come over here and I'd get a new material like I've shown in a lesson recently, and how to get to that color. Alright, there's my door, and I'll call it a door and I'll assign it like that. So now I leave edit mode. So now I have those. And then the only thing that's, let's see, I'll bring the other object back into the scene that I left out, which was that window here. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just join these two back together, control J, and then go back into edit mode and just grab the windows area alone. And I would also make that a new material give it a slight color, change the transparency on it, drop the alpha down, maybe not completely, give it a green window, call it a window, and assign it. All right. So there's my basic structure that I built in advance. All right. So once I have that in place, then I want to duplicate that. And the easiest way to do that is, I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see this, I'll scale this up. Since this is just one object, it's easy to deal with. You could do it with multiple objects, just add them to a group. But for now, I'll just press Shift A and I'll add a mesh based circle into the scene and I'll scale it up. Okay, so then I'll grab this and then I'm going to try and grab this if I can. Sometimes you can't grab it here because, like, for instance, if I try and click, it gets the plane instead. So I'll grab that, then I'll, I'll hold down my Shift key and I'll left click up here and that's the same thing as selecting it twice down there and I'll parent that like that so now that's parented to the circle you could do the same thing if this was a group you could parent a group to a circle as well All right so now with just the ob with the circle selected it'll come over here to the object button tab thing and I'll press verts and there I have I've placed them all along each vertex of the circle like this and I want to change that rotation so they're all aligned 
course they're crooked now so I'm gonna to have to come over here and maybe say RZ 90 like that and then they're all facing outward like this and that would leave room for a balcony if you wanted to do a balcony as well. But we're not done. Until you do one other thing, you have to press Object and uh, Control A. See here under Apply, Control Shift A for Make the Duplicates Real. So I'll do that. Control Shift A. Oops, got to do it with the circle selected. Control Shift A. All right, and you do it. And now you see they all have origin points at the center. So now these guys are all individual objects like that in here. And so then, you know, based on that, then you could just, well, you know, you could do anything. I mean, you could just do Shift DZ, right? And just start stacking them up. And then before you know it, you'd have yourself an entire round circular building of some sort. All right, hope that gives you some ideas about how I work and maybe that'll help you with your designs. And I'll see you in the next lesson.